Hey team, good morning. Uh, I'm still on travel. I'm up in Washington, D.C., making rounds and doing some things. Uh, but as always, it's incredibly important for me to be talking with you. Uh, and so, one, I just want to say thanks for the continued support in viewing the videos uh, and providing comments back. Uh, still getting very great uh, recommendations uh, and thoughts. And I just want to say thanks for that, uh, for you taking time to do so. Uh, two things I'd like to talk to you about today is the recent news coming out of um, the Department of the Army about loosening uh, restrictions to travel. Uh, I see this as a great step as we move forward. Uh, I would coach us all that it's not going to be a free-for-all heading, you know, to airports to go TDY, uh, etc. We are going to continue to lead our way through this. We are going to manage the travel uh, more on an exception basis still. Uh, it is about the effects that we're trying to achieve uh, not about the execution of travel. Uh, so we continue to process uh, PCS and retirements so people can process and do what they need to do accordingly. Uh, and then we're going to pick up some things business-wise uh, in our travel. Uh, but again, it will be measured. Uh, we will lead our way through the decision cycle. Uh, it will not be automatic. Uh, and it will be all about achieving the effects that we need uh, as an organization. Uh, you know my priorities in our effort here. It's our first and foremost taking care of ourselves and our families. It's about making sure we are uh, working against the spread of the virus, whether that is uh, personally or professionally. Uh, and it is about maintaining our efforts to support uh, the warfighter around the world. So in that light, inside of those three priorities, uh, I'll make decisions about uh, exceptions to travel uh, as we go forward. The next step is, is start to come back in to work. Uh, the transition steps are, are clear. Uh, we have worked in great, um, great detail how we're gonna go about doing that. We're messaging all of you. Um, and we are taking a measured approach in our, our execution thereof. Um, I would ask us a couple things. One, spend time uh, reviewing what we've sent you about the transition. Um, look at the videos, read the messages, understand, ask questions of your supervisors. Uh, send me a note if you, if you have a question, uh, and we'll be glad to work our way through that because it's important that you understand uh, where we're at as you begin your personal transition from your family um, away from them during this time and back into the workplace. Know that we are gonna continue to make decisions on individuals returning based on requirements, uh, but more importantly, based on the safety of the workplace, understanding of what you need to do every single day. So uh, we'll be measured in our approach on that. When you come back into the building, a couple things will definitely have been changed. One, our, our processing of you through the gates, uh, what hallways you walk down, how many people get on an elevator or go in a stairwell, what is the meeting protocols for VTCs, uh, how, do, how many people are gonna be allowed in a latrine at a time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, be aware, um, look around, uh, understand, be part of the solution, right? It won't be the perfection, uh, and there'll be some inconvenience, personally, I'm sure. Uh, I ask that you think about the bigger picture. Also, uh, I just want to remind you, we talked about this a few weeks ago, everybody's coming in from a different perspective, right? Their position, their thoughts, their concerns, their stresses, or everybody's different. We're humans, right? That's what's great about, uh, about the human race. We're all different. So as we come back in, I just ask you to take a moment to think about that, to recognize that to understand it, to uh, take personal responsibility to help be a part of a successful transition 
right? Both for yourself, but also your coworkers. Um, and we'll work our way through this, right? Don't expect to come back in and everything is going to be the same, right? I feel we will obtain a new normal uh, and we will work our way through that, but it's going to take all of us to be a part of it, right? Wearing a mask in the hallway, knowing that handshaking is not the first instinct that you should execute, um, making sure you don't cluster around cubicles, uh, but I'm pretty excited about all the work that's been done in this light, uh, and I think we'll have a very good transition uh, as we move ahead into the future. Okay, so um, that, that's it. I, I hope all of you had a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you took a moment to understand and remember why um, you know, we celebrate Memorial Day weekend. But with that said, I hope you had an opportunity to do some extra family things. Most importantly, I hope you took a moment to take care of yourself uh, as we keep going through uh, the current situation. Uh, I will leave you with, hey, this situation is beatable. We will uh, defeat this enemy. We will uh, be able to uh, maintain our way of life, right? Um, our culture, that's what I believe strongly, uh, but it'll take all of us to be a part of that victory, right? So remain disciplined personally and professionally uh, and we'll be successful. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, I, I, I don't have a great story for you about the Pernas. I didn't do anything stupid, which, you know, is a good thing. Uh, but in the same light, I get a lot of comments about all the things I talk about. So nothing to, you know, good or bad to comment back. Um, had a pretty good stable weekend. So I'll talk to you next week. Thanks for what you're doing every day. Thanks for protecting yourself and your family. Thanks for the work we're doing against COVID-19 spread. And most importantly, thanks for what you're doing to support those war fighters who are in harm's way every day. Uh, we're making a difference and it's because of you. Thank you.